Consider a drug testing company that provides a test for marijuana usage. Among 321 tested subjects, results from 29 subjects were wrong, either a false positive or a false negative. Use a 0.01 significance level. That's going to be our alpha. So alpha in this case is 10%, so 0 0.10, to test the claim that less than 10% of the results are wrong. So this is a hypothesis test for a percentage, so we need n and x. n is the total number of observations, and x is the total number of successes. So n here is going to be 321, and then x is 29. x is 29. All right, so let's go ahead and set up our null and alternative hypotheses. So HO, H1, really important to number the steps, go through all the motions. So it's going to be P because we're talking about a percentage. And it says less than 10%. So less than is strong, so we keep it. So less than 0.1. And then HO is always equal, so P equals 0.10. All right, steps two and three are done entirely in StatCrunch. So let's go ahead and do it. So we click on question help and go to StatCrunch. Make this bigger. And we're going to proportions because we have P. So we go to stat, proportions, one sample with summary. Okay, it's always with summary when we're dealing with proportions, but we're not gonna deal with, with data uh, for hypothesis testing. So with summary, and then uh, successes is 29, observations is 321. This is a hypothesis test, okay? And we need to enter this 0.10, and it's less than. So everything looks okay. X is our successes. Our observations is N. We've entered the point, the 0.10. Everything matches here. Only difference is it says HA here. Here it says H1, no big deal. Um, click compute. And then we have our answers. So step two for us is the test statistic. Step three is the p-value. So I'll go ahead and write everything down. So z, so our z is negative 0.57675. That should be enough decimals. <laughs> the p-value, I'm going to write them all down. So p-value 0.2821. That's a really big p-value. That's a really, really big p-value. It's a giant p-value. All right, and let's go ahead and finish the whole question, then do the homework problem. So step four, we have to make a decision. We either reject or we fail to reject. So if the p-value is smaller than alpha, we reject. Here's our alpha. It's bigger, so we fail to reject HO. And then step five is going to be our interpretation. So we always start our interpretations by mentioning the level of significance. So in this case, we have 0.10, so we start by saying at the 10% level of significance. And we have to decide if there is or there is not sufficient evidence to support our claim. So in this case, we fail to reject HO. So there is not enough evidence to support H1. So if we reject HO, there is enough evidence to support H1. If we reject, there is, fail to reject, so there is not there is not sufficient evidence, sufficient evidence to claim that uh, H1 is true. So what is H1? H1 right here, claim that less than 10% of the test results are wrong. Last sentence, right? Less than 10%, that less than 10%, less than 10% of the test results are wrong. Okay, so that would be a full solution to the problem. Now we can go ahead and just click the correct answers. So let's see, um, here we go. So that's our D, so D, that's gonna be the first one, right? P equals P less than, boom, there it is. Test statistic, it wants two decimals, so that'd be negative 0.58. 0.58, good stuff. And the p-value wants three decimals again, so 0.282, whoops, whoops, 0.282, okay. And we, uh, let's see, there is not, so we, we fail to reject, there is not sufficient evidence. So which one is that? It's gonna be B, 
fail to reject, not sufficient evidence. So that's it. Hope that made sense.